welcome to the Maths Spa. Now, I know you guys have had a busy few weeks getting all dressed up for weddings, honeymoons, dinner parties. So I decided you deserve some R&R. &R. So before I do that, I thought I'd put on some relaxing soundscape for you. Oh, my God. No, yeah. let me no. see. Oh, my God. No, let me see, Luke. No, because it's going to make everyone... Shut up. I feel relaxed now. Right, this week, some of our couples took the chance to get to know each other a little bit better. I made love to my woman, not... <laughs> not just not just had sex, but I, I made, I made, made love. love. It felt very okay, good. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> oh, Lou, I think the only thing I want to hear about you making is pottery on your lovely date. And then Adam was extremely surprised when he thought we'd served him dolphin at the dinner party. What's that? Dolphin pouvoir? <laughs> Dolphin pouvoir. Disclaimer on behalf of Mavs, no exotic birds, animals, fish, whatever were harmed because they were in fact potatoes. Welcome back to Mavs UK, it's official with me, Chloe Burrow! <laughs> I think it's fair to say we have probably had the most eventful week yet and to help me divulge and get all the tea, I have Gogglebox legends, Marcus and Misha! <laughs> Thank you. How are you finding maths? Love it. Fully invested. Yeah. And so is he. Take Does your mate know? That's not letting him know that, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That, I don't think that'll go down well in the gym. So, three couples did leave the experiment this week. We've actually got Orson here himself to tell us all about his journey with Rochelle. But shall we get into a couple of the couples that did leave? I want to start with Hannah and Stephen. Mm-hmm. Shall we start the snog with Orson? OK. I think that he should have snogged her straight. Yeah, me too. I wish that they got that on live, like them tongues and everything. I wanted to see the lead up to that. Do you know what I mean? Oh yeah, imagine the chat before. Yeah, yeah. I know what was said to really you just get give good... me the feels. Mm. Yeah. That's a bar, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah that's, that's his bar. Line. That's his line. No? Yeah, but he was flirting with the wrong guys. Like, yeah. you, you don't do that. Yeah, There's maybe wait you've for You've got it no to time and place. Yeah. But the girls pulled her up on that. That was a wicked episode. Oh, they really pulled her up. They, they, they are. <laughs> oh, they ripped her a new one about Bless all of that. Her, but Imagine yeah, if kiss, you, yes. yeah. What do we think about Stephen saying he would stick it on Shannon? How I think he should have done that a bit more chesty. Okay. Yeah, yeah cuz he said that he likes her. Yeah. Yeah. And then he started backing down when it was stuck on him. Like, do you like, well, you know, just friendly, nah, mate. Yeah. You like her, do it with some vim, you know? So then when you think Ryan spoke to him, do you think he should have said, yeah, I said that? Yes. I wanna. Yes. <laughs> Just the same way he was saying it yeah. when Ryan wasn't there. I do agree. Do you get what I mean? Stand That's on what business. I, stand on business. Stand on and business. And then Ryan well, probably wouldn't it. have batted him up so much because exactly. Ryan was onto him, you know, but yeah. Ryan wouldn't have batted him up so much. Because he was being sheepish. But then, unfortunately, they both left. So what are we going to miss about the couple? Hannah, Stephen. Oh, is it going to be the same now? Is it going to be boring? They were so excited. Like, every time they come on... They brought the drama. They brought the drama. Mm, and they did look good on their wedding day. Together, yeah. they quite... They suited each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Another couple who's gone is Shannon and Ryan. Did you expect them to leave? No, I had high hopes for them. Yeah, Sadly. she was really sweet, and I really did want them to work. They were so cute. I really thought they was going to make it, you know, both. I think most people did. They were brilliant to look at as well. Absolutely. Yeah. She was so sweet. And, you know, like, when he was at the commitment ceremonies, that man's got gift of the gab, didn't yeah. he? Yes. Yeah. I really fell for his words. They were kind you of giving, like, posh and becks. Do you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. We're giving posh and becks. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, I will definitely miss them. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Ryan and his blue eyes, and he's a good-looking guy. All right, babes, all right, all right, all right. I'm <laughs> um, getting some contacts. <laughs> <laughs> Another promising couple at the start was Kieran and Christina, but we can see they're kind of on the rocks at the moment, which I'm very sad to say. Mm. He did say last week he didn't, see, didn't know if he could date someone with PMDD, and then he kissed Adam and Polly and not Christina. Mm. Thoughts? Is that coastal he healed up? <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah! <laughs> That's my Yeah, point. that is it. Coastal's yeah. a serious thing, man. It's a big thing. Yeah. He's trying to just take down the whole room back, this man. <laughs> <Isn't it? laughs> Do you know what I mean? But he's not, yeah, he's hard one with him because I didn't really actually understand that condition and then you explained it to me. What, the PMDD? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. She don't want to be like the negative Nancy crying. Yeah. I know, but what is he, a charity case? No, he's not, he's her husband. 
I oh, suppose yeah. they could. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. But do we have hope for Kieran and Christina? Do you think they can recover it? Or... I definitely think they can recover it. Okay, good. It. Me too. Yeah. Yeah, because they are actually sweet. They're lovely. They are sweet. And they do, like, I could just picture them in the, in the woodlands where he lives in his little house, yes, thingy majig. Caravan stroke. Yeah. Oh, I love yeah, that for them. So sweet. Mm. They are. Fingers crossed for them. Mm -hmm. I think one of the most roller coaster couples we had this week was Sasha and Ross. Started mm. off at a commitment ceremony, then they had an argument, they weren't sharing a bed. Then she had an argument with Alex, then he bought her a bracelet, then another argument with Alex. I was quite surprised by Sasha though. So like, she's I. got like some backbone, loved it. Yeah. yeah. There's ways to deal with situations. And I feel like when she came in and she's, and she's talking to him and she wants him to go and be confrontational and he's just not that guy. He's really not. He's so not that guy. He's not he that don't guy. want the smoke. Yeah. I do think though, I do have a bit of respect for Sasha because she was kind of the only one who was standing up for Alex, who was kind of coming at everyone. You know, if anything, I thought Polly might say, please don't talk to me like that. But Sasha kind of came to the girls' defence. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in that situation, she did come to the girls' defence. Mm. But sometimes, like, Sasha and Polly, they're just too involved in everyone's business, man. Sometimes you too. just see red, don't you? Who knows yeah. what comes out of your mouth? But you were getting this, yeah. and maybe mm. that's what happened. Yeah, I agree with that. But the bit I just didn't agree with is when she told Ross about it, she needed to be like, babe, I told him about himself, you know? Yeah. Yeah? I told him, yeah? <laughs> Don't mess about with me, yeah? Oh. And I called him a pussy. Oh. Right, yeah? I just so dropped the mic because she had him. She dealt with that situation yeah, she did. nicely. Right. Exactly. Very and it's yeah. made Ross say, you know what? My girl's gangster. Yeah, yeah she's got this. <laughs> she's got this. <laughs> um, okay, so hope for Sasha and Ross, yes. Because they kind of made up the team. Hope for Sasha. That's not enough to split, is it? No. Like, do you know what I mean? This is, I'm definitely team Sasha and Ross. I feel like we've touched on Alex a bit, but we haven't spoken about him and Holly as a couple. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we saw Holly took some time out. She said she missed her kids. I think a few things kind yeah. of. She just needed a break. She needed mm. a damn break from yeah. Alex. Do you know what I mean? He's a bit switchy, and so is she, yeah. to be fair. So, yeah, I just think she needed a break. But I don't think that was the only thing. Neither that do I. Took her home. But with him, though, he is like an onion to me, though. There is layers of him. And as yeah. it's going, I can see him changing. I can see the layers getting peeled off. And inside, there is a, a good good side to him. But I think you got it on the head where you said it wasn't just the kids. Because even when she was speaking to him, she said, you didn't even ask me about my kids. Mm. It was more like, you're not asking me about me. Ask yeah, me how yeah, my yeah. day is, you know? Yeah, yeah. 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 But yeah, I loved yeah. her entrance to the dinner party. Mm. I'm gonna have a dinner party without me. Yeah. Too right. Hey, what's talking about it? Mm. Um, the last couple was kind of really delving into it's Emma and Casper. They've been on quite a journey, you know. <laughs> Emma's really trying to be intimate. Casper's not getting down with it. What do you think about Emma and Casper? I love Emma and I love Casper firstly. If I had to say to him, like, you know, Intimacy, like, you know, let's put it on the task list. And I went... <laughs> <laughs> it's over, what do you mean? <laughs> you got to think about skin, it. She is though. Yeah, she, she is. She's so a better woman than me, I swear. Yes, oh, yes. I can deal with that. And you're, everyone's seeing that back home. But why do you think he's not doing it? Because he don't fancy her. Yeah. I just bottom line. He said it, yeah. and that's why I respect him. Yeah. That's true, actually. He said it yeah. from the get-go, you're not my type. Yeah. And that cannot have been easy for him. Do you think if she came on less strong, there would have been more of a Absolutely, chance? Absolutely, you know, not, yeah. you know, Be a bit more mysterious. She's not letting him chase. And I think men naturally have that want to chase Yeah, thing, treat you know? him and keep him key. Yeah. They say. This man said he didn't fancy me because I'm a little bit curvy. Yeah. Let me go and make a fry up in your face, yeah? <laughs> Let me add to this. Yeah. yeah. Yeah? You don't want me? Okay, cool. That's fine. You see what that is sounds so sexy. You know? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah? <laughs> I suppose the polar opposite is a very sexy couple, Amy and Luke. Oh, they're yeah, yeah, yeah. lovely. Yeah. He will always be romantic. And yes. I feel like that's what women yeah. actually like. Yeah. In yeah. Just be romantic. It's good. That that is what a relationship should be like. I yeah. agree. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. I'm rooting for Luke. All right. I think it's time to get Orson in here. So he'll be joining us literally in two seconds. Woo! Hey.
Right, joining us now on the It's Official couch, we have Orson. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you for having me. Thank you for joining <laughs> us. I feel like we have a lot to, to talk to you about. Yeah, I think there's a lot to actually discuss and digest and relive. So yeah, let's go. Good. Well, you sound excited. I'm very excited to have you here. Shall we start with, let's go back to the honeymoon, mm -hmm. okay? And you said you started to get the feels for Rochelle. Mm -hmm. What was it at that moment that you liked about her so much? <laughs> <You're too bad. laughs> let's go back to the honeymoon. Okay. It was so oh, oh, God. God. It so, was. You, you, to get the feels. So, yeah, so, <laughs> you know what it was? It's like, so obviously we met, um, beautiful day. Like yeah. the wedding was amazing. Like, I'm so sorry that you guys didn't get to see the steel pans and stuff like that. Oh, wow. Yeah, wow. man, wow. like okay. it was amazing. Yeah. Like the families gelled, like, so it was, it was really good. Yeah. But she was a bit like, you know what I mean? Like, like. 40 million questions. As I said, I felt I'd be like, oh my God. Inquisitive. Like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I'm like, okay, we're going to have our time. We're going to be able to speak. Like, we're going to have that time. You know, let's yeah. just kind of follow like the process a little bit for now. And then we got to the honeymoon and she, she was like, I'm going to be totally different to how I was yesterday. I'm not going to be as chatty. Like, I'm quite chilled and quite relaxed. Okay. And I was like, okay, I could deal with this yeah. because this is more my vibe. Yeah, when I started to open up, um, it just felt a bit like, yeah, I, 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 you're too soft. Like, I don't want to hear all about that soppy stuff. There was certain stuff she didn't want to talk about, and I respected that fact. Yeah. If that makes sense. Like, yeah. if you I don't want to talk about- I think you were quite about, vulnerable yeah. in like yeah, the yeah. beginning stages. Perhaps Absolutely. she wasn't as vulnerable. She then took, you know, a few days to herself on the honeymoon. How did it feel going back to the apartments on your own? It felt a little bit like, I hope she comes, I hope she comes. Aww. The reason why I was hoping that she comes yeah. is because the last couple of days we were actually getting on. Okay. You see what I mean? Yeah. So when she left, she actually said like, let's leave together. Mm -hmm. Not a lot of people know that. You know what I mean? Exclusive. You know what I mean? So I was like, <laughs> I'd, I'd, I'd rather just like go back, say, hi to everybody and bye to everybody properly, yeah. Yeah. you know, and then I'd come to London and, you know, we could do what we're doing outside. Yeah. Haven't got a problem with that. Okay. Obviously, she came back. So that's yeah, the reason why I was, ex I was excited. I yes. was like, okay, right. At least I know what I was thinking and feeling mm. wasn't wrong. Things do change in life, you yes, know. Yes, the luck yes. of the draw, that one. Yes. I feel like a lot of your disagreements, should we call them, mm -hmm. bow down to kind of the topic of integrity. Yes. Do you think you had enough, like, ample opportunity to prove that you're like, you have integrity? 100%. You do. 100%. And we had these conversations in terms of like, right, okay, this is what I do. This is what my life is like. Mm. But it was always like, I'm not sure, like, yeah. Like, I would be like, oh, my name's Orson. Are you sure your name's Orson? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I felt like... not used to a nice Yeah, I'm like, like, oh, God, I need to prove myself here again. And then it went to the level of, like, when it was proper digging to, like, okay, do you really have a company? I'm like, yes, babe. Like, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. giving the information and that kind of stuff. And then she came back and was like, oh, couldn't find your company at company's house. And I'm like, Jesus Christ, is this what this is? Yeah, when the friend <laughs> came and the friend started grilling you as well. Oh, that my. for me was a bit like, well, hold on a second, what is this? Mm. But like, everything she found out is everything that I've already told mm. Michelle. Because yeah. I was like, it's a bit bullying. Oh, oh, you're just making my man look so soft. But yeah. the thing is, is like in that process, and I was never like this, you know, like I want to say maybe like probably a year ago. Yeah. I was very hard. Okay. All of my ex would tell you, like, yeah, you, you won't get awesome walls down. Like, really? I, like swear down. Wow. But I said to myself, I want to see that. Yes. I was like, if I'm going to go into this process. She would have liked that also. She would have loved that also. But that's not me. Anymore. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. anymore. Mm. Yeah. Like, I wanted to, like, give you my authentic self. Mm. Like, walls down, strip me bare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not literally, yeah. but, <laughs> you know. <laughs> it depends like, on who it is. Good, it depends on who good, it is. Good, good, good. Stop it. <laughs> yeah, we'll get on to that. Oh, Don't it. you worry. Oh, my God. We will get 
Yeah, on to that. Where do I leave? No, you have to say. Okay. No, sorry, throughout sorry. all the whole process, you managed to say very cool, calm, collected, chill. Mm. How did you do that? I think it was more my upbringing. Okay. Yeah, it was definitely my upbringing. Like in the Caribbean, like you don't get raised by your parents alone. You get raised by the neighbour, the, the friend village. of the road, mm. the Absolutely. village. Yeah, like right. that's mm. it. Mm. Right. So you have mm. all those morals and all those behaviours yeah. yep. from Tom, Dick, and Harry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you yeah. got to be able to. Mm. I mean, you you know yeah, how it works. Yeah, you know what I mean. So could have been something you beautiful. Have just been so it it could have been yeah, something beautiful. Been. Like like yeah, because yeah. yeah. you're a good looking yeah, couple. When I saw like the pair of you, I was like. Like, let me tell you something. She's the best looking woman on that cast. She's beautiful. She's beautiful. She's like, her beautiful. skin is so clean. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and she dresses cool. Yeah. Like, she's a full like, package. Yeah, 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 yeah. We had some great times. I won't yeah. lie. Like, when we were good, we were good. Go. But when we were bad, you were entertaining. I don't even think <laughs> yeah, yeah. He was, he was. You gave us a lot. You were Jesus. entertaining. Yeah. So in your penultimate commitment ceremony, you both wrote to stay, yes. although clearly things weren't easy, breezy, beautiful. Can you walk us through that thought process? Yes. So basically what's happening is like, we're just butting heads. Yeah. Left, right and centre. I'm trying to make sense of it. She's trying to make sense of it. And we're like, don't know what's going on here. So... I said to her, like, look, let's just find out what's really going on. Because they've matched us for a reason. She was like, mm. yeah. And I feel like if we leave, we won't know what's happening, if that makes sense. Yeah. She goes, I've got my, my daughter's birthday this yeah. week. She did say that to me. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, I, I get that. But she was like, I feel like I want to find out why we were matched. So that was the reason why we yeah. said, well, OK. Let's give it one more week to see what Paul and Mel and them have to say to us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got back and it was just a massive argument. Really? Like, basically, she was saying she didn't know I felt the way how I felt. Right. If that makes sense. And I'm like, mm. if you are telling me I don't find you attractive, mm. you don't mentally stimulate me, mm. and I just feel like I don't even really want to be here. Yeah. Like, am I supposed to be jumping off the wall and going, oh, my God, like, I'm so excited. <laughs> mm. You know what yeah. I mean? So I'm saying to her, well, if you feel that way, like, I need to say it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So she didn't like the fact that I actually said... Vocalised it. Yeah, vocalised it. hearing it. And so basically she's like, it's the first time of me hearing. I'm like, mm. what? Well, it did wear away, completely away, at the retreat we saw. Then Hannah came along. Yep. You want to tell us a little bit more? <laughs> me and Hannah got along very well. I think we could see that. Yeah, yeah. like on a very like friendship level, yeah. if that makes sense. Because I'm like, you got all these girls like saying this, saying that or whatever, mm. and I'm here and I feel like you need somebody in your corner. You, yeah. you need somebody to be you like, just wanted to you know be what I mean? Guy. So I thought, I, I've got you, mm. you know? And that's where we kind of like, you know, we sat down, we had a conversation the night of the dinner party. And yeah, that's where the... <laughs> Happened. Oh, the tongue just came yeah, out yeah, there. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, because <laughs> this, this young lady asked... Oh, yeah, just had to. This just young needed... lady asked me questions mm. that yeah. Richelle never asked me. Like where, you, like, where you from? How many brothers? Like, mm. you know, how was you raised? Like, deep questions that make me go like, what? Oh, my That's God. Really interesting. Like, this is... You know what I mean? Mm. So it just felt right in the moment. Are you... <laughs> How are you guys now? I suppose we can get a little exclusive. That would be telling, wouldn't it? Oh, my God! <laughs> that, that would be telling. How intense was that commitment ceremony? <laughs> <laughs> I just... You, yeah. need, you need a different word than intense. Really? Yeah, <laughs> you, you do. Like, you know when you go to, like, these... Um, what do they call it? These like Cyprus weddings. Yeah. And there's plates just mashing yeah, yeah, everywhere. Yeah, 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 yeah. It yeah. was like that. <laughs> was like it? you've got Alex kicking off over there. You've yeah. got Richelle kicking off over there. You got me who's just going, oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> and then you got Sasha kicking off over there. Yeah. It was just chaos. Yeah. It was. It was just chaos. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, take me out of this blender. Yeah. Please. Are you happy to write leave? Yeah. Then? I was okay. happy. 
I do commend you, though, because I, I would have been kicking off as well. Nah, I... I, I, I commend you for just keeping your yeah, call pretty I, much all the way through. Yeah, man. Even though I was screaming at the telly, also, awesome, come on, no, man! Awesome. Just, mm, See, give some awesome. back, man. <laughs> give some back. Yeah. 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 On that note, would you like to play a little game? Yes. Yeah, why not? Come on, let's okay. go. Okay. It's called 40 Million Questions. On your wedding day, Michelle asked you a lot of questions. In fact, here's what happened. I'm not an engineer. What do you what do? What kind of engineer? Project engineer. Like, what company is it? Well, I've got How married. long have you been here? 20 years. Like, have you been married before, by no. the way? When yes. were you last single? I'll, I, I, I'll explain yeah, to you properly. this is really it. interesting. Probably received 40 million questions in the space of 30 seconds. We've all got some questions for you on our cards. We're going to read you a question out okay. one by one, mm -hmm. and you have to answer as many as you can and as quick as you can. Oh, my God. OK? Have you ever seen a ghost? No. Have you ever cheated on a test? Yes. Can you touch your nose with your tongue? No. <laughs> have you ever seen... <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> Can you outrun a lion? Absolutely. Okay. I'm quick. I'm rapid. A lion? I'm rapid. OK, good. I'm checking. Just checking. Just checking. A lion. I'm rapid. <laughs> You're a stinking lion. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh. OK, my one. <laughs> Have you ever been skinny dipping? Oh, I love skinny dipping. I walk around my house naked, like, I walk around my garden naked, like, yeah. The I, garden? I, yeah. Right, let me my just... fences are high. <laughs> <On that note. laughs> <laughs> You've got too much clothes on right now, isn't it? Yeah, I'm hot. <laughs> Have you ever worn a thong? Yes. What are you doing wearing thongs, Olsen? It's a jock strap. I played cricket for you. Oh, no, oh, <laughs> it's that a jock one. strap rather than a thong. Would you make a good prime minister? I would make an amazing prime minister. What would be your first role of prime ministering? We free, free prime yeah, minister in. What? Uh, what? No, what? no, that is good. I'm for that. Is prime what minister in. Yeah. That is prime it. Ministering. Yeah. What would be your first? My first one would be like free food. I like homeless. that one. Okay. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah. Do you believe in love at first sight? If I didn't believe in love at first sight, I wouldn't be sitting on this sofa. Oh, oh that's poetic. <laughs> Right, now I want to talk about why I bought you all here, OK? It's very important. Ta-da! Oh, <laughs> Take one of the classes along, again. please. <laughs> oh. I would like to know if you want to stay or leave this show with me. Right, who wants to go first? OK, so, you know, I had a fabulous time today and, um, you know, it was great. Thank you for being invited, but... I've written leave. Leave! I'm hungry. Oh. I need my dinner. It's dinner time, babe. That's, That's it. enough. Someone can get you dinner if you just stay. <laughs> Mark is awesome. Who wants to go next? Unfortunately, I put leave because it's my kid's 21st birthday. <laughs> and I just need to go. <laughs> and that's OK. Right. I respect so, that. You go. Wow. <laughs> I just need you to just let me go. go. OK. Oh, God. Please. Jeez. Do you know what? I'd hate that one. I had an amazing time here yeah. and it was lovely to meet, you know, you guys. Um, the reason why I chose this word is because I now feel like I've got family that's going to be a part of my life for the rest of my life. So I decided to... Oh! Actor. I was staying. <laughs> I trust it. No, man, he's a stinky liar. I'm a stinky liar. liar. <laughs> I think you're really genuine, and I'm so glad you spoke your truth. Yes. I respect it, yep. you know. And on that note, thank you so much, also, and Marcus and Misha, for joining me today. <laughs> Honestly, after all the drama from this week, I have no idea what to expect for next week, but I cannot wait to watch. So I'll see you here, same time, same place, next week. <laughs> <laughs>